Welcome to Badger Beat, your weekly look at the UW football team. Reflecting on the big victory in Minnesota and heading into a week at Illinois. Some news on the injury front this week. We'll start with Tom Mulhern. Peter Kahn's center out two to four weeks after dislocating his left ankle at Minnesota. Can you talk about the impact that that will have on the offense and, and when you might see Kahn's returning this season? Well, I, I think when you talk about a center, the first issue has to be communication, you know, because it all starts with the center. Uh, but when you're talking about Kahn's, you're also talking about probably or one of the best centers in the Big Ten. Bela McCall may be the best in the country. I don't know if I'll go that far. Um, but, you know, I think he's He's, him and Zeitler are their two best linemen right now and their most consistent linemen. I don't know that they'll feel it this week, but I think in two weeks when they play Penn State against a really good defensive front with really good defensive tackles, that's going to be the issue then. And I guess based on their prognosis, they hope he's back by the bowl game, you would think. The, uh, the bright side for the Badgers this week, Jared Aberderis' his left shoulder injury uh, appears not going to keep him out of this week's action. I mean, this is a guy that's really come on as a receiver and return man. Can you talk about the advantage of having him in there this week? I think his loss, had he had he not been available, would have been as much as, as Peter Kahn's, just because of the uh, the compliment that he provides Nick Toon and the the impact that he has on special teams. The fact that he is able to play, I think uh, Russell Wilson has has another go to guy. I think the offense maintains its balance with with uh, with Jared in the in the lineup, and Nick Toon remains a, a viable threat. If if you don't have him. Teams can load up on Nick Toon. Teams can uh, do a little bit more to, to stop the running game. So having Jared Aberderis back was a big was was very welcome news for Wisconsin. Andy, we'll stay with you. The Big Ten race uh, swung back to the Badgers this weekend with the uh, the losses of Penn State and Ohio State. The Badgers were in the driver's seat, so to speak, before in terms of controlling their destiny. Have it back. Where do you see this team maybe having a better advantage this time around than they did the first time? Well. Uh, it helps to have the knowledge of having gone through this. Uh, th- th- uh, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, we were talking about having a great opportunity slip through their fingers, and that's exactly what happened with regards to a national championship, uh, those types of things. But a Big Ten title is still in Wisconsin's grasp, and I think Wisconsin learned a lot about itself in two you know, devastating losses on the road to teams that were motivated to beat them, had a lot of uh, uh, extracurricular thoughts about uh, uh, avenging what happened to them a year ago. And I think Wisconsin learned a lot about itself. It learned about perseverance. And now that it has the opportunity to once again control its destiny to the Big Ten championship game, I think Wisconsin will do a better job of managing that. One of the uh, the sticking points that, that fans have been talking about, we've seen it resurface again and again, is the uh, kickoff coverage team gives up the 96-yard touchdown this last week and another long return to Dwayne Bennett. Um, Molly, tell me, what did, what did you see from the press box in terms of these breakdowns? Is this something that they can correct? Well, I think the number now is 80 kickoffs uh, uh, that, that they've had to cover this year, which is a, a sign of a prolific offense, I guess. You would think they'd be a little better at it, I guess, uh, getting that many opportunities to do it. I guess there's a fatigue issue that uh, Brett Bielema brought up today about having guys. It's a it's a high-effort play, and you've got, you got guys running down the field, and if you're doing that seven, eight times a game, um, I guess there's a toll that takes from that. But let's face it, if, if they want to win a Big Ten title, their special teams are not playing at a championship caliber level right now. It was the punt protection team for a couple weeks now it's a kickoff coverage it's got to get fixed and the biggest thing I saw is guys just didn't get off blocks I mean the guys got blocked you know Brady Ewing might have been held on the on the touchdown return um, but they got to get guys getting off blocks and making plays on kickoff return they say they think they got it figured out we might see some more new faces but it's an area that has to be addressed Thanks for joining us again this week. Look for coverage all week on Madison.com and into Saturday's 11 a.m. kickoff at Illinois.